Hi guys, so just doing a quick video on <coughs> the SEMrush Traffic Analytics tool. So this is going to just give you an overview of what this tool does and everything else there is to know about it. So Traffic Analytics tool, first of all, can be found under a couple of different sections here. So I'm just going to close that over. Um, so on the left hand side, where it says Domain Analytics, you can find it down the bottom. And also, also under Marketing Insights, the Traffic Analytics tool is down here. So either way is fine, takes you to the same <coughs> place. So what the Traffic Analytics tool does, and now this is a paid tool first and foremost, it's in addition to your um, monthly cost. Uh, but what it does is give you a much more detailed overview um, of the analytics of your competition. So, for example, I'm going to put in Matthew Woodward, <coughs> who is a uh, competition to me. Um, you'll be able to see here how many monthly visits that he gets, unique visitors, pages, average site duration, boundary. Now, we can scroll down further and we can see that with this traffic, you know, whether it comes from direct, referral, search, social, and also which countries this comes from as well. So we can see that most of Matthew's traffic comes between the US and the UK. Um, and then obviously we can click on full report and see the data for the rest of the world there. So we've got a real good insight, you know, just with the overview of what is going on with Mr. Woodward's website. Um, and it gives us a hell of a much more detailed um, insight into the traffic and where it's coming from um, than any other tool out there. Now this tool obviously doesn't have access to analytics, but what it is using is you know a deeper data source to be able to give you closer to what the traffic is going to be. So that's the <coughs> overview tab there. Audience overlap. Now you can benchmark your website against your competition. Um, and I can put in my own website here as well. I really probably shouldn't be putting myself in with these guys, but uh, <laughs> let's do it. Um, so audience overlap. Um, we can see that Matthew's got a massive chunk of the market there. Um, and even compared to Matthew Diggity, He's also got a big chunk of the market there. So we can see the kind of audience overlapping. You know, I'm taking myself out. I compare myself with those big guys uh, because they've done a hell of a lot more content and everything than I have. Um, but you can obviously check the, the overlap and what you're missing out on and uh, dig a bit deeper into other people's information. You can <coughs> also click on traffic sources here. And it's going to give you an idea of where some of this traffic's coming from for both, or for all of these guys. Um, now you can see here, Google, Facebook, Active Hosted, which is where I host my emails, um, Aweber, WPX Hosting. There's a, a whole bunch of websites there where we can see um, that are referring traffic to, to certainly some of these websites. We can see which search engines are working and we can also see which social networks are working best as well. Um, top pages is also another little good bit of insights when we're looking at the competition. So we can see the top pages on Matthew's website and the kind of traffic and everything else that the website gets. Now over on the right hand side here, there's settings that we can add, so we can put in direct, search, referral, paid, desktop, mobile. So you can add all of this stuff in there using the table settings, which is right there. Um, and we can see all of that data there for, for your competition. Geographic distribution. Again, we can see the kind of share of the traffic across the world whether it's desktops, mobiles, and so on. And we can actually see <coughs> an interesting stat here that 
in India, mobile has a hell of a lot more people on mobile devices than the UK and the US um, and so on. So you can dig deep into the kind of geographic distribution and also, you know, what devices and all that kind of stuff is going on. Destination sites, um, that is websites that are sending information, uh, or oh, sorry, yeah, um, a lot of sites that are visited by users after leaving the analysed domain name. So people are going there, and obviously the likes of Matthew Woodward, for example, has a case study on WPX hosting, so people then jump onto that, and people are then jumping onto Google, Fiverr, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever. And I would expect that to be the case because he's got lots of tutorials which are probably on YouTube. Subdomains, I don't think Matthew has a subdomain, so there's not a lot to be gleaned from that, but if the, he was to have a whole bunch of subdomains, that information would appear there as well. Now, you can also uh, bulk analyse up to 200 domain names using this tool as well, um, so you can compare a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so that is the overview of the traffic analytics tool. You've also got Market Explorer here as well, um, where you can analyse your market. So obviously Matthew Woodward, being a digital marketer, I would fully expect websites like this over on the right hand side to appear on here. Um, and we can kind of see you know, what's going on and analyse some of these websites and stuff like that as well. So, <coughs> you know, the, the Market Explorer gives you a whole bunch of what SEMrush think is uh, relevant websites, but you can actually narrow that down by clicking narrow focus and it will actually go very specific into like uh, Gotch SEO, Cognitive SEO, Hobo Web and so on. So you can have a narrow focus or, or a, a much broader focus um, and just bear in mind you can change this from location to location. Um, Relevant sites, again, you click on that and it's going to show us a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of data based on relevant sites to uh, Matthew Woodward's and custom market based on the three domain names that I've put in there previously, which is Matthew Woodward, Diggity Marketing and Neil Patel. Let's see what they're saying. So it just gives you a whole bunch of... Uh, data on social media distribution strategy, traffic generation strategy, and so on. Um, and traffic rank is also part of the traffic analytics. So we can see a nice bunch of data on what the likes of Facebook, you know, Reddit, whatever website you want to have a look at, you'll be able to see the kind of levels of traffic, average site duration, bounce rates and everything else that some of these high profile websites get and it gives you an idea as to whether your bounce rates are good and it just gives you an overall um, view of which websites are getting what type of traffic and you can obviously filter this down into the location that you're in um, and the data will change so we can go to Armenia for example and there's going to be a whole bunch of different websites there and we can mess about with the different devices as well. But Traffic Analytics overall is a great tool that will allow you um, to, to get a good overview of the, the metrics of your competition and you can obviously benchmark your site against them and you can identify all of the different opportunities that you know come available when you look at these kind of websites. And as I say... Uh, you can put in anyone um, here and it will give you, you can see someone like Neil Patel gets an outrageous amount of traffic, unique visitors, pages per visit, average site duration, all of that stuff, you know, you know where it's all coming from, whether it's direct referral, paid search, um, <coughs> you know, which countries it's coming from and so on. And fair play, you know, he's doing extremely well and you can, dig deeper into all of this kind of information using same Russian the traffic analytics tool and that's exactly what you want to do is use data to make those 
decisions going forward as to whether you know w when you're tweaking your campaigns and you know mess about in here and, and you know as I say drill down on all of this data um, and get as much as you possibly can to better your own campaign so that is an overview of the traffic analytics tool from same rush um, you will be able to have a 14 day free trial of same rush in general but this is another paid additional um, piece of kit and um, so if you do want to use it you can sign up using the 14 day free trial but you will have to pay for the extra data there